All right, guys, so today I was out shopping with my mother and somebody asked me to show everything that I bought. Excuse my clothes, oh my gosh. Yes, this is the hoodie I wear when I go out. <laughs> but, um, so I guess the first thing I'll start with is this since it's already sitting here. It's really ugly. In fact, I've been looking at this for, I months but it could be years like I don't remember this not being there and I just thought it was the ugliest thing but I recently started getting interesting in decoupage so I think I can fix this and I can't wait to get to work on it I wish they had many more of those I'd buy them all then we can get into what's, what's in here Oh. All right. So this is a wine glass, a really, really big wine glass, but I thought it was cute and it was only, I think like a dollar fifty or something. So I got two of these. It says just hang in with my ghoul friends. We have... Two boxes of these. I would never buy these, honestly. I mean, I know what they are. I've seen them used. It's just really not my thing. But there were two boxes of these for ten dollars each. You can see all the little cubes. They light up in the water. Uh, I got these because I am making a special Fourth of July bomb. So that is what these are for. Again, not something I would normally get, but they were there and it <laughs> seemed like a good idea. Then we have some napkins. I know, weird. But again, I'm just now starting to kind of get curious about decoupage. I think these are interesting. I got some rubber bands. That's fun, right? I got some tacky glue. Oop, these are falling out. But these are like little doilies. We have this game, which is called Mysterium, which basically, I guess, one of you is a ghost who isn't allowed to communicate with words and has to give cards as clues. And the goal is to figure out how the ghost died. Uh, I don't know. It's probably somewhat similar to Clue. Never played it, but... Caden is always begging to play games, and that sounds right up our alley. Then I have just a three ring binder that I'm going to probably practice decoupaging stuff on. I decided to make my mother a book of shadows or a grimoire for Mother's Day, because that's how weird of a daughter I am. Well, I got this as a present for my son for his birthday, which is coming in April. I think I paid three or four dollars for this. I got this bottle for eight dollars. says I mean it is like ton tonic and alternative blood maker but it literally says right there it says makes good blood <laughs> like, I don't know I just thought it was funny so I got it because I like poison bottles and medicine bottles and stuff like that Then this one I got to try to decoupage, 
um, to hold like bubble bath or something. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Again, I've never done it. But I'm quite curious and I want to see how good of a job I can do. I wish it had a handle. That's what I was really looking for. But this bottle only cost me $2, so I'm down to practice on it. Oh. I guess I did buy a handle. <laughs> so this is like an old um, cabinet handle. And I don't know, I didn't try it with this. Yeah, it's too big for this one. But I have seen people use these as handles. Obviously not on this one. But I got it in case I want it in the future for something. And then we have, oh, let's go through this stuff. Okay. I have a bag of 66, which will be coming in a future Rebel box. I think I'm doing like a 80s neon fun thing. And even though these were out before the 80s, somehow that's what it reminded me of. So that's what that is for. And then we have honey and ginger green tea. My son has recently really gotten into teas and mixing teas and stuff, but I also thought I might mix some tea and put it into a a box at some point. Not the Rebel box, but probably the Dark Circle box. We have lemon lavender fruit tea. Got several bags of those. But then we've got dried ginger slices. Um, red apple chips also to mix into the tea because that's my favorite kind is the kind that has little bits of fruit in it I know I'm weird then I got this five hour energy drinks so I'm an addict so I should not have these things all the time but I do and probably especially tonight since I've spent the day shopping and now making a video and basically doing everything except for getting ready for the Rebel release tomorrow. So I will be up all night working on that. Then we have some old-fashioned ribbon candy. We have some dark chocolate ginger. I just thought it was interesting. I have no idea whether these are good or not. I don't even like dark chocolate, so... Meh. What I did get for me, though, are these. These are deluxe-filled little candies, which reminded me of my childhood. I think my grandma used to have these in her house, and I just loved the fact that there was stuff inside of these. Those little red ones are my favorite. <laughs> So that is all that's in this box, aside from a lot more tea. Um, then we have a cheese slicer, which I thought might be a little easier for me to cut up my soap. So that is what that is for. We have some brushes for the decoupaging. We have some really long sticks, which is actually just for the candles I make so I can, you know, poke a hole in them to get the wigs through. Here's the other wine glass. We have some hot, spicy Oreos. We have some paper for my mom's book. Ooh, I'm dropping stuff. Two things of Mod Podge. I got the glossy kind. I got some silicone because I'm going to try to make a mold soon. Actually, I have a friend who conned her dad into making um like a a Ouija board planchette 
and I'm gonna try to make a bath bomb out of it, which should make a lot of people happy, because I've actually had people requesting for me to make a big planchette to sell on the store. Then I got a couple things of fragrance oil from a local store. Um, this one is raspberry and cream. And these two are bitter berry breezer, which smells like wine. And I know some people who would really like this. So I'm going to do something with that. It smells really good. In fact, it kind of reminds me of the purple passion that I recently... I know a couple of you bought it, but that's kind of what it reminds me of. Then we have more napkins. Again, just decoupage practice. They're pretty. And now I've made a disaster of my work area, but... I think, I think I got everything. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and... Yeah, I didn't really buy too much interesting stuff this time, did I? Uh, I didn't really find a lot of, well, I did find interesting stuff. I'm going back for it, you guys, when I have a little bit extra money. But today was not that day. But there is an old doll in there I wanna go grab. And then there was something hanging on the wall next to a shrunken head that claimed to be a scarecrow, but I think it was like a big gigantic voodoo doll. I don't know. I'm, that's what it's going to be if I get a hold of it. So <laughs> I'm going to go back for those things later. I promise. I hope they're still there.